the Dead Man Mode Tournament 7 Days to trade up your account from level 3, you know, with 15 times combat XP, and if you do die, you lose the most valuable 10 stacks of items in your bank, plus if you're scold, you lose half of your XP, which is pretty grueling for sure, and you know, hopefully we can make it far, make it to like 120 plus combat, get some stack gear, let's get the win. And uh, yeah, turn my attack options on hidden, definitely the first thing you'd want to do. Take a look at that mini map, the wave of all these people. Oh man, so the plan right now is of course get the 10k, Hope keep pushing, go try and find some place to train. I do want to stay around Varrock and Lumbridge, because uh, in the past I would actually just, you know, venture around, trying to look for a good training spot, and that would take up a lot of time. I'm not entirely sure what squad the uh, green ladies are, I'm seeing a lot of them to be honest, and that, that would take an extra like minute just to make your character look like that, so these people are going hard. We can notice a lot of people uh, starting to walk, and yeah, I'm already, you know, 9 run energy. I'm gonna save this, you know, for the for the bottom levels when it gets more dangerous. Oh, this is not good, boys. There's people scrolling up over there. Oh, no. Luckily, we got out of that. That's a trap. I see a lot of people going up the ladder. I'm probably just gonna get my 10k right here and home teleport. Because uh, if you go up there, people actually have, you know, the staff. And everyone, there's big clans, basically. They hunt the people at the top of the Barbarian Stronghold to, in hope, get their 10k. Dang, Lumbridge is packed as well. Look at all these items on the ground. I bet I could actually snag some, you know, decent supplies here. But we're going to collect the, um, the training sword and all that stuff. I already have ruins in my bank. I should have brought them. Ask for a starter pack. This thing helps out so much. Okay, now we have food, tuna, the staff. We have everything. We should be good to go now. Should I get the adamant long sword? Oh, he just bought the regular sword. That freaking sucks. That guy literally just slimed me. I guess we'll buy another one, though. I guess not, because he just bought two of them. Ooh, eight agility level off the first run. 27 agility off the rope. Yep, there it is. They actually put it so uh, the levels don't even pop up, because they're so frequent that it just annoyed people in the past. Yes, there it is. 30 agility. We are out of here. Probably gonna go bust out waterfall quest while everyone is still young and newbie. And, uh, you know, you do get 30, 30, 30 attack, 30 strength. I do remember that was always the best route because even on demo mode training with 15 times XP, that would, uh, you know, take at least like a half hour or something killing chickens. Hopefully this works. And plus I'll need to do the quest anyway for uh, ancient magics in a, in a while. Plus we also have 30 agility. So when we do quests, we're going to save a lot of run. Uh, compared to most people that probably just skip that part of, you know, the, the journey. Ah, oh, there it is. 25 thieving. This is actually the second inventory. We even picked up a free nature rune on the ground. I don't know who would leave that. It's pretty valuable at this stage in the game. That's one thing I've always remembered about uh, Dead Man mode. There's so many implings running around because no one has the hunter level, so no one catches implings, and they're just run running aimlessly. But yeah, no XP waste. Six magic level already. Wait, I just got six magic twice. What? So yeah, basically my goal right now is to attack anything I can, uh, you know, put my put my spell on, and uh, should add up quite nicely over time. All right, here we go. So these moss giants hit quite hard. Oh, a nine. We can see this guy's almost dead. You want to get the skeleton on you? Oh my gosh, twelve. That's the max hit. Using the urn on the chalice. A big mistake. A lot of people take the treasure and it kicks them out. Oh, there it is. Waterfall. Feels so good. Thirty, thirty as well. 29 combat awesome now we're just gonna home tally and probably go train and lumberage or something around there should be good look how packed it is at freaking giant frogs and rats i'll probably just stay here for a bit unless it clears out um i might even have to go get a bow but yeah it does also feel good you know getting the adamant sword everything's working out in my favor because you know i just did the waterfall we got 30 30 13 prayer right there and this should be the big milestone 40 strength we're about to hit 45 attack already, 20 prayer, and I'll probably wait to get like 55, 55 to even touch defense. So yeah, we're making some headway, guys. 42 combat already. Level 40 hit points. We're probably just going to stay at these frogs. It's slowly dying out, and I've got the whole place to myself. But look at that mini map. Oh, that guy just freaking died. LOL, dead. It's the first time I've ever seen that in my whole RuneScape days. Some guy just got freaking killed by a rat. The current stats right here. I'm going to sell this Addy Sword because I don't need it. And I finally got enough gold for a D skimmy. So yeah, we're actually going to try and train 65, 65, then go to the Warrior Guild. 65 strength right there. Big accomplishment. Now we have to get five attack levels. 
and we should be good. This D skim is way better. Consistent 15s and whatnot should be a walk in the park. Ooh, a 17 right there. A thousand XP drop. Very nice. Look at these levels too. 45 magic, 62 attack. We're probably going to try and get 55 magic before we go to the Warriors Guild so we can Alka all the drops like the Mithril, you know, the Mithril battle axes, add them in two hands. We could make some extra money there. Yes, there it is. 43 prayer. Feels so good. A big ass achievement. I might even get a uh, 52 at the Cyclopses while getting the Defender, but yeah, I'd have to bury quite a bit of bones. We'll probably look for a Gilded Altar in a day or two. Ooh, no way. Four prayer potion drop. Nice. I actually just sold those Staminas I got earlier as well for 5.5k each. I'm sure these things are at least 3k hopefully. I'll probably actually keep them for myself when we go to the Warrior Guild though. I was really hoping this wouldn't happen. My staff just fell apart at 53 magic. And uh, yeah, I'll just go buy some runes at the shop, I guess. Get 55, then head to the Warrior Guild. We are set. Okay, we just bought the runes to get a uh, 55 mage. And let's see how much this Mithril play body is. 5.2. Very nice. Okay, 400 gold to our name right now. Kind of embarrassing, but I did also just buy a Mithril uh, helmet in the GE and I bought some nature runes. So we're slowly getting set on our way. It has been roughly 23 minutes and we have not got the bronze defender. This place is so packed and so frustrating. Everyone has the bows, of course. It's overpopulated and uh, it's almost impossible to get a Cyclops. 65 HP. Will we get a strength level too? Very nice. 68 strength. 78 combat almost. A hey, steel defender right there. Very nice. Big milestone right there. I'll probably keep training strength to be honest because I feel like strength does more damage than uh, attack and of course defense. I'll probably train defense tomorrow night or something. I'll keep like 50 for a while. Take a look real quick how many players are actually getting tokens for the Warrior Guild. And it was a little bit worse earlier, you know what I mean? People have uh, moved on to the Dragon Defender Room and whatnot, but dang, there's a lot of people. We have 900 tokens, which is an hour and a half. Wow, these guys are totally just wasting supplies. Th this fight's going to go nowhere. They're both playing melee, using melee, and only have melee. It's not going to go anywhere. No way. Mithril Defender. We have four prayer points left. No peapots in the bank. That is a good way to end it right there. I'm going to go restock. We just got 57 magic, so two whole levels just from Alking and the Warriors Guild. And we made 41k so far. Nothing great, but uh, nothing shabby either. 75 strength. Finally, there it is. Very nice milestone to hit. Whew, that scared me, I'm not going to lie. When you bank and there's a PK under you, most likely going to train to like 85, maybe even 90 strength. With these stats, I'll probably get 60 defense just so I can wear dragon later on. But I'm sure dragon plate skirt is going to be extremely rare. Finally, the Addy Defender. That took many, many, many tokens. Ooh, 77 strength. 85 combat as well. That means we can uh, start doing Slayer at Neve's Cave. But I'm still going to do some Slayer, no doubt. But I have a special route up my sleeve that's even better than Slayer training, I do believe. So we're going to stick to that and do some questing. And it should be ready in a couple hours. This should be the final bone right here. 50 prayer. That's actually a big milestone. Two levels away from smite without even training at a, a gilded altar or anything like that. Or killing dragons. Still no rune defender. I went and got 400 more warrior guild tokens, which is 40 minutes. And yeah, nothing so depressing although it has cleared out quite a bit which is awesome looks like everyone else got the defender but me oh shit no way did that just happen yes finally oh it is over that literally took an hour and a half just to get the rune one we are out of here oh it feels so good this pk is trying to get me for so long Peace out, my man. And so it begins the Dragon Defender grind. Hopefully we get it within like 20 kills or something. I, I can't be asked to, you know, go dry another couple hours. So hopefully we get it soon. After five kills, just what I needed. Oh, thank you, Jagex. Thank you very much. No way. Okay, I had 55 defense. I couldn't even wield the Dragon Defender. So I thought I might as well stay here for a little bit longer. And yeah, we get the Rune Med, Rune Square, plus another Dragon Defender. That's actually kind of shitty. Those are extremely high defense. Okay, so thinking about this task, it is a good one. 183 black demons, but they're pretty beefy. And with the stats I have right now, 
I think I'd have a you know tough time getting getting through their defense and whatnot. So I'm gonna go with backup plan number two and start questing until we get a black mask, and then I'll probably finish this task tomorrow. And you know I need the quest anyway. There's no majors running around. Everyone's pretty newbie, so it probably is the best time to quest right now. I just spent about 10 minutes, and we have eight quests that I want to bust out by tonight and finish. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Who doesn't love questing on dead man mode? Let's get into it. I would say a very productive first day on the dead man tournament we stayed up till three in the morning questing and we actually got done uh from nick isles and a whole bunch of other quests even this is my alternative account right now killing ice trolls for rune kite shields and granite shields so it should go well don't forget to throw a thumbs up and look out for day two have a good one guys see ya